On the screen there we have a charged object. It has an electric field around it. We can introduce another object. This time it has an electric field, but it's negatively charged compared to the first one. So one is positive, one is negative. These two will attract each other quite weakly at first, but when they get close, they will attract each other with a much stronger force of attraction. So the electric field is stronger the nearer those two objects are to each other. We can draw in the field line. So there's the field lines shown there in black and labeled. And we can also add arrows to those field lines. So the arrows go away from the positively charged object and towards the negatively charged object, as we can see on the right hand side there. OK, so that's a quite, quite important diagram for you to remember. But there's also one or two other things we need to remember about these diagrams as well. So we can just make a note of those now. So here's our two charged objects. And the first thing to make a note of, we've actually said this already, but the first thing to make a note of is that the field goes from positive to negative. So away from the positive and towards the negative. And the second thing that's quite important is that the electric field is strongest nearer to the object. So the field is strongest near the objects. That red highlight there, that's where the electric field is strongest, closest to the object. And we can show that, or these lines show that, because the field lines, the electric field lines, are much closer nearer the object. So the field lines are closer. That indicates a stronger electric field near that object. OK, now that actually has an impact on the force created by that electric field. We could say that the closer the two oppositely charged objects are, the stronger the force of attraction, the stronger the force caused by that electric field. We call that a non-contact force because the two objects don't have to be touching for that force to have an effect. Okay, so just a short video, but a couple of key points about electric fields and charged objects. Probably important that you do make sure you understand that. Let's just make that a little bit straighter. Not sure if that's much better. One last go. Okay, there we go. That'll do. Okay, so a couple of key points to know and understand about electric fields and charged objects. Thank you very much. I'll see you soon.